Today I'm going to work on getting the headliner out of this truck. The I don't actually have any headliner yet. I have some material ordered and I'll probably have to do that in a later video. I'm getting a little ahead on this because I think I mentioned this in the kind of the original video about this truck that it's got a roof leak somewhere. I don't know exactly where. And it poured down rain today and the truck was sitting outside the shop and I was, I was cleaning up in here and the truck sitting outside and when I brought it in, uh, it was water dripping from underneath the dashboard from the headliner down to the steering wheel. I popped the fuse cover off and it was water dripping down inside the, not on the fuse block, thankfully, but right in front of it, they're on the inside of inside panel of the dash. So there's a, I mean, it was a lot of rain, but still uh, is a pretty significant leak somewhere. So I want to repair that before I put a new headliner in there and just ruin a new headliner. So I'm going to get this one out and we'll go through that process. And then sometime, probably maybe the next video, sometime next week, uh, I'll get a new headliner put on the, the backer board. I'll show you how to do that and put it back in. They're, they're kind of clumsy for sure. It's hard to get them out once you get it removed from the ceiling. In fact, I think the easiest way to get it out is through the passenger side and probably without the seat in. I'm gonna try to get it in or get it out without taking the seats out. There's a lot of panels to take off uh, and a lot of different pieces. So it's gonna take a minute, but we'll get to it. This is what I meant, like it was water dripping down here into this, that's wet right there. There's water down here on the base. This is wet on the door. Uh, the top of the steering column was wet. So it's leaking from somewhere up here and coming in the front here in front of the steering wheel or above the steering wheel and uh, it's still dripping. And then down this panel, down into the dash and then out. So I'm hoping we can get this off. It'll be some sort of obvious evidence of where it's wet. It might be a little bit of rust or at least some water staining in the, in the roof. Uh, the roof is real bad paint wise, but I, I don't think it's rusted through, but there's some weird spots on this, uh, trim up here that look like it might be a culprit. So we'll kind of see with that, like this seam sealer here maybe isn't sealing very good. So I don't know. Let's, uh, let's get this headliner out. We'll start by, we got to take the, these pillar panels off. Uh, one on each side and there's the center panel goes up and holds up the top along with the handle and then the back of the truck we get these side um, rear panels like what I would call that the rear side panel <laughs> the corner panels off uh, and then the those uh, you sometimes you can just pull those like pull them loose and you get the headliner out. I'm going to try to do that because if you want to take those off, you got to take a bunch of stuff off on the back. And I really don't want to do that. If I don't have to, I will. But just it's a lot more stuff to take off, a lot more stuff that can accidentally break. Let's we'll take the dome light off as well as the front upper uh, center console and the visors as well. Also going to redo the visors because they're just as bad as the headliner as far as peeling off. I have enough material to do both. So hopefully that'll work out OK. Uh, I think that's all we have to do. It's not a ton. We'll start in the front and work our way back. So in this headliner, this, this stuff is just, I don't know if you can see that, it's just dust. I'm pretty sure I'm inhaling it, and I'm pretty sure it's not very good for me. It should just pop off. Yep. Get our stupid dash cover out of the way for a minute. Uh, there is a speaker, a little, little tiny speaker that goes inside this that was, uh, looks like it was glued in. It isn't glued in anymore. <laughs> you can just pull a plug on that one. But for now, I guess it's out. I'll have to fix that later. Oh, snap, don't do that. Oh, it's the dash that's snapping. Whatever. I don't really care that much about you. Let's see, where's the little screwdriver? Uh, you can't see from over there. 
is a clip. I'll show you when I get this out. That you uh, just push in, and this will come out. That's the clip I'm talking about for the, for the little speaker. So you just push this pin in, and it just sits like this down inside the down inside the pillar there. You can see the other one, the yellow plug up there. You just push this down with a screwdriver, and it'll pop out. And that way, you, you don't break it like I broke the other one. Now let's get the visors off. Oh, there's also the handles. Or handle, I guess. Forgot about that. It's good to take some kind of note about the orientation. They kind of sit at an angle. The Firebird video, when I read it, the headliner, I uh, messed this up a couple times because I didn't have the orientation quite right. So I'm going to take a picture of it. So I can see where, what goes where. Uh, actually, I got a chalk marker. Pencil mark, maybe. I'll make a pencil mark on it. So then I can wash off to get a reference point. So that is a T15 in there. Clip off. This has a screw up here, and I think the rest of it's just clips. You can see these are pretty bad. Okay, then what is this? I believe it's a bigger Torx. Okay, looks like a T25 maybe. lose that screw there. There we go. Now, I think this just slides up that way. Again, trying to do this without breaking it. No, oh, no, they're just clips. Just like the other panel, so we'll just pry it loose. There it goes. <laughs> and, and there's a clip here. Okay. Okay, let's see. There's a speaker up on that side, or a microphone, I think. But I think it's attached to the headliner, so it's it's uh, not holding the headliner. Now I'm going to get this door handle off. Let's see, so this has two like pads on it. Let's use a tool a screwdriver. I just got a little pick tool here. See if I can pop those loose. And I believe, kind of like the uh, part of the Firebird was like this too. I think they just pop loose. And then there's a clip behind them up inside. So they don't come all the way out. They just, yeah. So they just look like like that, and it should and then just come loose. Yep. Now that's the front. Now move to the middle. Get these uh, middle pillars. Okay. Uh, so I moved the passenger seat all the way forward, and um, and, and and I tipped it forward just to get as much clearance as possible from from here. Now this uh, side panel comes all the way down and it kind of comes out like a T at the bottom. It goes underneath the um, trim panels, the side, the, the door jam trim panels. So it's easier to get to take one front or back out and the back uh, sill panel is a lot easier to take out. So do this one here and then when I pull this off, it can slide this way and slide out from under the other one. I'll just have to tuck it back in later when we're, we're putting it back in. So just like everything else, it just has little clips on it. It just pops loose. Sometimes they can be rather difficult, it appears. 
There we go. There. Now you can just like I said, slide it out and up. I'm gonna get it out of here so I don't sit on it, break it. Comes off with I think a couple of 10 millimeter, three 10 millimeter screws. So this is that lower door sill panel I was talking about. This one actually is cracked. So I'll be real careful with this one. I'm gonna finish cracking it. It's cracked. I'll see right there. I'm gonna break it all the way through. That one came off a little easier. Okay, Ooh, see it's already starting to come down. I kind of just pull that down and rest it on the seats. Okay, let's the other side. There we go. There. And then there's two Phillips head screws here. lose those so if you want to take it all the way out you'll have to take the seatbelt stuff off but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna pop it loose and again trying not to break it let's uh let's cut it back there okay well, that's good enough for now to get that out of there and uh, we still got to get, there's these two pins right there and the dome light, which also should just pop off. Man alive. Those are huge. <laughs> okay. That seems unnecessary. But whatever, it is what it is. Okay, so lesson learned on that one. Try to pull more than pry um, because I could feel it digging into the backer. Backer is just like a compressed, some kind of compressed paperish cardboard material. It's hard, but it's not super hard. It's rigid, I should say, but it's not hard. So there's some, oh, there's some water staining up there. It will leak in the back too. Um, there's uh, so you want to just yank the try as much as you can try to yank those things out versus pry them out because you could damage the board. All right, so all that's left is the dome light. The dome light actually isn't connected to the roof. It should should come off fairly easily. This one's glued. That's not a good sign. Let's get it down and take a look. Or ruin something. Let's get that kind of out of the way. It should come down. There we go. All right. Oh, we got some wiring in here. Looks like uh, maybe a aftermarket antenna, an XM antenna, and that is the rear brake light. And there's the dome light. Well, let's just take the wiring harness off. We'll figure it out once we get it out. See what we can do with this. Pretty sure this headliner has been out before. The wires up top there are supposed to be glued. You kind of see a glue line right here. You can see where some of that paper is peeled off and there's some glue on these wires. Those wires are glued to the headliner. This is, these are not, these have been ripped off. I didn't rip them off. 
and they don't come off real easy. So somebody took them off already. Up top here is a clip up here. It's black on black, so it's hard to see, but it uh, attaches to the back side of this right here where this glue spot is. And uh, you, have to, you have to take your rear brake light out and unclip that, but it wasn't attached. So this has been pulled out. So when I, when I, before, when I redo this, I'll re-glue that clip in here. There's also some Velcro pieces that are glued to this that are supposed to stick up to the top to kind of keep it from sagging down. Those have been popped loose. They're still attached to the roof. So we'll, uh, we'll shore it up as much as we can before I put it back in. It's got water all along, water damage all on the back. So it's been leaking back here somewhere. It's like up in this corner. Might be around the brake light because the brake light has got a fair amount, a little bit of rust around the brake light. So I wonder if it's leaking and then run into one side or the other of this, this beam. I have so far been unsuccessful getting this, uh, getting this headliner out. It just doesn't seem to wanna make the turn. So I didn't wanna take the seat out, but I think I'm gonna take the passenger side seat out. The front seats actually aren't that hard to take out. There's like four nuts, two in the front, two in the back, and then you can just pick it up and out. So I'm gonna try to do that and then see if we can make it, make that kind of turn. Although it's gotta get through the door. I mean, it's gotta get up around the door. It must have to come out the back door because it's gotta come out the direction of the door, not against the door. I still think having that seat out of the way will help. Oh, and then maybe we can turn it this way, rotate it down where the seat would be and go out that back door on the passenger side. That's my plan. Or when you look at these, they have a weird bolt on them. They're, um, they're kind of a reverse Torx. I think they're an E, they goes like a T. Torx bits are what, T20, T30, T40, whatever. <clears throat> these are E and it's just reverse. But this particular case, a 15 millimeter six point socket actually fits on there pretty good. goes it is a nut okay Ooh, it's hot so that's what they look like it's a little it's a little warm but uh so it did you know it gave it, it damaged the edges just a little bit kind of flattened them out but it worked they're out or it's out let's go on the other side and uh and then there's two in the back Okay, I'm put the seat all the way forward. And then get two in the back here. That one's smaller. So that one, I have the right bit for that one, so. So that's an E16. The front was an E18, but a 15 millimeter socket. Actually, that's just a bolt. Yeah, it should be loose. Alrighty. Ooh, what's a mess back there? Hey, there's like 75 cents in there though. Now, what should be true is that I can take this, is I can take this and bring it down this way and then go out the back door. Man, doesn't want to make the turn. Now boarding. The struggle bus. It's stuck on the back seat. Man alive, what is your deal? How in the world? Let's just come out of here. Still don't understand how it comes out. 
Because now it's stuck on the passenger seat in the back. Do you take that seat out too? Don't understand. I wonder if it comes out the passenger side rear. There's no way. Let's get back up here. Let's see what it takes to take this seat out. Okay, so I had to take both the driver's or the passenger side front seat and rear seat out. I wouldn't recommend it if you don't have to do it. But hopefully now I have enough clearance. <laughs> get this thing out of there. I just want you to come out the door. Why won't you just come out the door? You know what I mean? Like it's not that big a deal. Okay. Okay. Maybe, maybe we're cooking. The seat's gotta be up. I can't put it up now because the top's in the way. Sort of going. Are you gonna go? I don't have any clue how this ever got in here. Without, without friggin' breaking it. It's as tall, it's as wide as the truck is tall. It's against the floor and it's against the ceiling. I don't know how it comes out the door. It is definitely breaking. Yeah, let's not do that. All right, I'm getting frustrated and I'm gonna end up breaking it. So I'm gonna take a break for the night. It's getting late, I'm getting hungry. I'm just gonna stop and not do something stupid. And come back to this tomorrow. I'll see you then. So I'm trying to just very, very carefully flex it. It just is not gonna come out otherwise, I don't think. So trying not to do too much damage to it. Just inch it out a little bit at a time. There's one spot on section out. Okay, we're getting there. So I'm kind of shimmy it out. Go to the bottom and then flex the top a little bit around the door frame. Flex the bottom a little bit. It seems to be working fairly well. And I just yank it out, you know. There we go. Hey. See? Sometimes a fresh head, you know, working late, working long hours. It's a good way to mess something up. So we're out. And then this handle needs to come off and that little microphone spot needs to come off. These have these clips. There we go. There. And then the handle comes up. Apparently it pops off that way. Looks like we didn't do any real damage. There's a couple of spots that are a little bit bent up, but I uh, think it'll be okay. I was, I was worried about these little pointy corners. This one's a little bit mushy, but it's because it got wet. So I think if I let it dry out, it's got thumbtacks in it trying to hold this up. That's what was stabbing my finger. So we're gonna get those out. Okay, well, it's out. So we're gonna stop here. Got some fabric on the way. Should be here later this week. So. Uh, sometime later this week, I will get this peeled off and uh, put new fabric on. Well, that was a struggle. That was a lot more struggle than I thought it would be. Should I've taken out a lot of headliners in vehicles. I've never had one be that difficult. So, first time for everything. Uh, but I learned a lot, and I hope you did too. So, appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.